Here's a highly effective 30 minute science-based upper body workout. Welcome back, Dr. Milo Wolf here today with Wolf Coaching, taking you through a highly effective 30 minute upper body session that you can fit into your busiest days and still make progress. This workout takes advantage of a technique called the paired superset. In this technique, you generally try to superset two exercises that don't really overlap with each other. For example, In the case of the incline dumbbell row and the incline dumbbell press, you're supersetting two antagonist motions. In one case, you're using your chest and triceps to press the weight up. In the other case, you're using your back and biceps by and large to row the weight. Because there's no overlap in the muscle groups involved, you can superset these two exercises with relatively minimal rest between sets and still get a good performance on both exercises, which allows you to get a good stimulus for muscle growth. Now, why the incline dumbbell press and the incline dumbbell row? The incline dumbbell press allows you to get a full stretch for most people on the upper chest and targets the chest, triceps, and front delts pretty effectively. As a compound exercise, it gets you a lot of stimulus for lower muscle groups. The incline dumbbell row, on the other hand, gets you a good stretch on the back and actually doesn't really allow you to get a full range of motion to begin with, which, as a length and partial, might be effective for hypertrophy. And you can see a full video on that topic in the top right of the screen right now. Why are we doing 8 to 12 reps? Well, it's a sufficiently light rep range that you don't need a ton of warm-up sets, but it's sufficiently heavy that it won't take a lot of time to perform each set. Oh no. Moving on from this, we're doing three sets of 12 to 15 reps on the easy bar preacher curl and on the dumbbell overhead extension. Why these two exercises? Well, the preacher curl has a very advantageous resistance curve wherein the most tension is present at relatively long muscle lengths. Likewise, the dumbbell overhead extension, by having your arm overhead, you're lengthening the long head of the triceps to a greater extent. Additionally, with both the incline dumbbell press, the incline dumbbell row, and the dumbbell overhead extension, the advantage is that you're minimizing time taken to warm up and set up. Because you're using dumbbells, you don't need to go through the process of loading the bar and setting up the exercise you can just get straight into your set. Again, we're supersetting these two exercises with maybe about one minute between exercises so as to get a time efficient stimulus in. All of these sets should be taken very close to failure as you can see here. Next, we're doing a superset of dumbbell wrist curls with inclined dumbbell ladder raises. Again, you'll see a common pattern. These two exercises do not have any overlap in terms of the musculature involved. In one case, you're using the side delts, and in the other case, you're using the forearms. If ever you do find that your forearms give out during ladder raises, feel free to just use straps, and that effect will be entirely circumvented. Why the incline dumbbell ladder raise? Well, as you can see here, the tension is actually greatest when my arm is parallel to the ground, which is a pretty long muscle length compared to a traditional dumbbell ladder raise. Likewise, dumbbell wrist curls simply allow you to get a good stretch on your forearms. Again, take all these sets very close to failure, performing three sets of 12 to 15 repetitions. So, during this session, we performed the following. We performed three supersets of two exercises each. First, we performed three sets of 8 to 12 on the incline dumbbell row and the 45 degree incline dumbbell press. Second, we performed three sets of 12 to 15 reps on the easy bar preach curl and the dumbbell overhead extension. And finally, we performed three sets of the incline dumbbell ladder raise and dumbbell wrist curl for 12 to 15 reps each. For the first two exercises, aim for two warm-up sets on each exercise. Then, going into subsequent exercises like the preach curl and overhead extension and the ladder raise and wrist curl, you shouldn't need more than one warm-up set to get sufficiently warm for the exercise. One benefit of a highly time-efficient session like this one is that going from one exercise into the next, you should be sufficiently warm to really need only one warm-up set. By minimizing time spent on warm-ups and by using antagonist paired supersets or non-overlapping supersets as a means to save time and superset exercises that don't have any overlap, this session should allow you to get a really effective stimulus for muscle growth in in less than 30 minutes. Additionally, this session really takes advantage of dumbbells. Dumbbells, just like stack loaded machines, are generally more time efficient than something like a barbell exercise or even a smith machine exercise, where you need to load the plates yourself. Oftentimes you need to set up the barbell in the right position, whereas with dumbbells, it's essentially just plug and play. You take the dumbbells and you get into your set. 
So by minimizing warm-up sets, by using paired supersets, and by using dumbbell exercises, this session really allows you to get a lot of stimulus in in not much time. Likewise, all of these exercises provide you with a good stretch on the target muscle group and will provide great growth for how little time they take. So give this highly effective 30 minute upper body session a try and let me know what you think. Likewise, if there are any other muscle groups you want to see me break down a quick session for, leave a comment down below and I'll make a video about it. Finally, if you enjoyed the video, please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in that next one. Peace.